Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing the Ruger PC Carving and the kel KS, or not KSG, Sub-2000. Both of these are 9mm carving rifles. They both take Glock mags currently. They are other versions of both of these rifles that take different magazines. Now, some points to notice right away is that the Keltec is a little bit shorter than this PC carbine. Uh, Ruger does make other versions of this with different stocks. They do have ones now with pistol grips, folding stocks, free floating handguards, all of. Uh, things you could really wish for in a little carbon size rifle. Now let's talk a few things uh, with both of these. Now the sights. The sights on both of these rifles aren't necessarily the greatest. However, I do have to give points to the Ruger. I believe that the Ruger here has maybe a little bit nicer sights. Let's see if we can get that to focus. A little bit nicer, a little bit more accurate. However, most people who buy these are probably just going to want to put a red dot on them, which is fine. In that case, the Ruger here has all the real space you need where you want it. The Keltec has all the real space that you need where you don't want it all the way forward it'd be much more ideal having it probably back here um, don't know why they chose to do that but they did now the barrel profiles between both these are much different the Keltec has a much thinner sort of pencil like uh, barrel here which is okay for 9mm carving honestly this that's just going to make the rifle lighter, easier to carry. You don't really need a big heavy fluted barrel like you do on the Ruger. Not really sure why they chose to go with uh, that, but they did. You're not really getting a lot of accuracy out of any 9mm, even if you do have a 16 inch barrel like on both of these. Another thing to keep in mind is the cost. This uh, Keltec probably costs only about three, four hundred. The Ruger probably runs you about six fifty. Camera does not want to pick that up at all. The triggers are something else to keep in mind. I believe that the Ruger has a much, much nicer trigger than the Keltec. And we're going to show you just how much of a difference there are between both of them. Start with the Ruger here, or the Keltec. Now, look at all this take up you have before you hit a wall. Not really sure why there's so much take up here. Maybe it's just how the gun is designed. They just couldn't des design a better way to really make a better trigger or maybe they just wanted to keep the cost down probably both but there we go and you see the there's quite a lot of take up there see that again and let's look at that reset Hear that click. A lot of room between this reset, probably all the way right there to all the way right there where it fires. Very spongy, not very crisp, not very good at all. Now let's look at the Ruger here. Now, before you ask, um, these magazines are empty. I checked them before I started filming. I just kind of left them in there just uh, for looks. Let's 
Let's look at the Ruger trigger here. Very short, very uh, positive click you hear in there. Let's look at that reset. Right there. And again, very short, very crisp. Much, much nicer trigger on this uh, Ruger PC carving. Anyway, I'm going to do a video breakdown of this uh, Ruger PC carving here. Show you how to take it apart, put it back together. In my opinion, I think that if you really want the quality, then you definitely should go with the Ruger over the kel -Tec. If you just want a fun truck gun that you can throw in your truck and take out in the woods and you don't care what happens to it, probably I'd go with the kel -Tec. Now let's uh, discuss maybe real quick about both of these guns uh, takedown processes. They're folding barrels and taking the barrels off. Both of these I think are kind of just gimmicky. They're not really not really that useful really. It does fold up nicely, takes up less room. Whatever optic you have on here is now going to be in the way unless if you have it off to like a 45 degree or 90 degree, which who really wants that? You want the sights to be aligned up straight. Now let's take a look at the Ruger. And use this little wrench style screw here to loosen it up. I want to pick that up and you just pull on this little lever there you do need to pull back on the bolt slightly to actually get this apart and it there you have it, it comes in uh, two separate pieces there the only bad thing I don't like about this is well you could lose one of the pieces and then the whole thing is useless this one's the least together. They're both really gimmicky. I, if you like that, if you like the idea of taking it apart, maybe throwing it in a backpack, great idea. If you want something a little bit more stable, neither one of these two are really that ideal. So, in terms of how they come apart and take down, I'd have to give points here to the kel -Tec, being that it doesn't you can't lose the other piece, it's attached to there. Anyway, that is my video on these two rifles. Stay tuned for this one being disassembled in the near future.